Hey everyone, how's it going? I wanted to ask you um, if you ever stayed up late at night just in dread and, and worry and stress trying to figure out how uh, you can come up with the money to put your children through college. Or you, know, you look at your child and you're like, oh, man, their teeth are horrible. Where am I going to come up with the money to get dental work? Or maybe, if not dental work, maybe psychiatric help <laughs> to deal with those teeth or, or worse yet like I do you know you sit there wondering you know how you're going to afford to retire you know you want your wife wants to take trips and do things and you don't know where you're going to come up with the the money to do this kind of stuff let alone will you even be able to afford to retire at all or you'll be working the rest of your life well my name is William Bailey and in this video I'm going to tell you four reasons why you should start a home-based business so let's get down to business here. I gotta get, check my notes. But um, uh, reason one, believe it or not, is you'd be brain dead not to start a home-based business. Now, I, I'm not saying you would be brain dead. I'm actually quoting um, uh, Sandy Botkin, uh, Botkin, excuse me, Sandy Botkin in a book I just read called Lower Your Taxes Big Time. And in that, he talks about the uh, tax advantage of having a home-based business. And these are things I wasn't even aware of. Uh, he gives kind of four, four reasons why you should consider this. Uh, one, you'll never get rich until you learn how to lower your taxes to the legal minimum. And a home-based business can actually help you in that area. Two, he says, there are two tax systems in our com uh, country. One is for salaried employees, which most of us already are, and two, for small and home-based business owners. There's actually a lot of good, uh, a lot of tax benefits because uh, our uh, uh, senators and congressmen realize that our economy is really kind of the, 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 the support structure for our economy, our economy are home-based uh, businesses. So they really help you guys out there. And three, he says that a home-based business is better for you than trying to to uh, find a way to do a second income because the tax benefits on the home-based business far outweigh you just trying to work two jobs. And number four, he says that you can save between two and $10,000 a year on your taxes running a home-based business. And this is even in the beginning uh, when you're not really getting any uh, uh, success or profit because a lot of the stuff that you do you know, the, the product that you buy, the training you do, any costs you incur, travel, any of that, all that can be written off of your taxes. So that's one good reason to do a home-based business. Uh, the second reason is a home-based business, anybody can do it. I mean, it's um, the steps are fairly easy, um, but it just takes a lot of uh, uh, discipline and uh to, and kind of get yourself to do the work, but the steps are easy and just about anybody can do it. At first, I was trying to figure out how can I do this? I'm an introvert. I'm not very good being social with people, so how am I supposed to build a business on social media? But I actually found out that being an introvert is is, 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 is a benefit than being a more outgoing person. So, and And you could be asking yourself, you know, you would love to do this. You've thought about doing a home-based business, but it just isn't something for you. I thought the same thing, and uh, I'm here to tell you that you can do it. I, I've been working at it for about a year and a half. Um, I don't have huge success. I'm breaking even, but you know, as long as you keep at it and you're consistent, you will get there. You will get success. Uh, the third reason is the low startup costs. Um, there isn't any other business out there that has a very low startup cost as a home-based business. I mean, if you look at like a McDonald's franchise, the franchise fees is $45,000 for that. And you'll probably end up putting out between one to two million dollars to get your business up and running before you even start breaking even. And even Starbucks, Starbucks isn't a franchise I found out. They actually own the store and you run it, but you have to pay them a $315, $315,000 fee to license the Starbucks to run. So a home-based business is a whole lot cheaper. Um, they, they go around uh, 
in most businesses, you know, you need to at least purchase the product that you're going to be selling uh, to keep your business going. That could be anywhere from $100 to $150 a month. It could be up to $200 a month. Uh, some of the businesses have a uh, like a business fee to use the website. The last one I did, we actually had a $17 business fee we had to pay every month. So that's that's a pretty low fee to run a business. You don't have to worry about inventory. You don't have to worry about accounting. The businesses take care of all that for you. And actually, the business I'm running now is far better. Um, if I have a customer to uh, uh, purchasing the product, I myself don't have to purchase the product to keep myself running in the business. And this company doesn't even charge a uh, business fee. And, uh, and and if I get two customers that are liking my product and using it, I actually get my product for free. I just have to pay for shipping. So that's a very low cost to run a business. And the fourth reason, and this is the quote, one of my favorite boot books called Dune. I've said this before, but without change, something sleeps inside of us and seldom's awaken. So the sleeper must awaken. And to me, this is the biggest benefit of running a home-based business. Uh, my wife, Yulia, isn't, isn't really uh, convinced that I could have success in the business, which is fine. I mean, I'm not here doing it to get her approval. I'm just in competition to better myself every single day, and I am. But she's very happy with the, uh, uh, the mindset and side of it. The more confidence I have, the, the, the changes I've made in eliminating my self-talk, and working at being more disciplined and, and being more consistent. Uh, so that part has been worth it already, even if I was to quit today, which I don't plan to. So recap on the four reasons why uh, you should start a home-based business. One, which is I like a lot, you'd be brain dead not to, just because of the tax uh, side of it. Uh, two, anyone can do it. The steps are fairly simple. Uh, there's most companies out there have uh, good training and if not, you know, just get yourself up with a group of people like I have or like I'm willing to do to help you uh, learn the steps to do this kind of business. Three, the low startup cost because you just can't beat it. I don't know how you'd come up with a couple million dollars to start a McDonald's franchise. And of course, restaurants, their, their success rate's pretty low. And four, um, just the uh, self-improvement you'll get to work at this uh, every day. So hopefully you got some value out of that. Um, um, if you'd like to learn more about home-based businesses, uh, let me know in the comments or message me. I have a little free, free PDF I can give you that'll help you uh, kind of figure out what kind of home-based business would be a good fit for you. You'd be surprised on how many different types there are out there. So I'm sure you could find something that you would actually enjoy doing. So I hope to, to hear from you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.